Hello guys and welcome to part 4 of the M16 tutorial. So let's get started. So you want to go to your front view and what you want to do is you want to go to vertex mode and you want to grab this vertex and just pull it up a bit. Same with this one. Alright. And then you want to grab these three here. And then go to the other side and grab the same three again. So this one and these two. And you just want to lift them up a bit. And then you want to <coughs> grab these and these three. Or four. And you want to grab these four as well. And you want to pull them back. And grab these two down at the bottom. And you just want to pull them down. Okay. So you want to go back to your front view. And you just want to move this back a bit. And move these two down a bit more and move this one across to here and this one up here just move it across as well okie dokie and then you want to get a cylinder sorry I almost said a cube and you want to go to the channel box and you want to rotate it in the Y by 90. And then you want the subdivision axis to be about 12. And then you want to scale it out in the C. And then you want to scale it all up. And then scale it back in the Z just to match the shape in the picture. Okay, and if it's not lined up, you can line it up properly. And then put the subdivision axis to 18. Okay, 18. Now you want to grab another cylinder. And you just want to make it really small. Rotate it in 90 degrees by Y. And then the subdivision axis to... 12, nope, 8, and you want to scale it up, and you want to scale it out in the C, so before you do this you can delete the faces on this side and the back side of it, and just click delete, and then you can scale it out in the Z. And then you can push it back. So about there. And you can always check by going to your top view. And just making sure it's all centre. Okay. And now you want another cylinder. And you want it to rotate in Y again by 90. And again, the subdivision axis to 18. And you want to scale it down a bit and just move it back like that. And then again, you want to delete the faces on the outside and the inside. But first move it into position and then you can shift select and then shift select again the other side and it'll deselect all the faces in the middle so you're only deleting the end ones which you don't need and again if you go to your top view you can line it up <coughs> and 
okay and now go back to your front view and you want to grab a cube and you want to pull it out all across there then you want to go to vertex mode and you want to pull this vertex down grab these two and pull it back a bit grab this one and pull it up like that and grab the two top ones and just lift it up just a bit more Okay, so if you go to edit mesh and insert edge loop, just insert where thread inserts, so here, 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 and here, and you want to keep doing this all around your model, so like that, you don't have to do it precisely, but just roughly, as close as you can get. So like that, and then like just, you know, move them into position after when you've done it. Alright, and now if you grab the top faces, or if you're, it's doing what Fred's doing, like selecting them both faces there, and what you can do you can hold down control and drag and select all across the model the bottom and it will deselect the faces in the middle alright and now you can grab these vertexes here and just scale them up into Y just to keep them straight and then you want to rotate them just to match the image again like that And then you can scale out the object or model, whatever. And you want to go to your top view and just scale it out and put it into position as well. So it's like that. The scale is like 10.1, 10.2. And you want to select this edge here and double select this one and the other one and then you want to <coughs> bevel this edge bevel and you want two segments and then you want the offset to be about about point 0.7 I think it is about 7 point alright so 8.5 or 8 whatever you want and then you want to select this edge here and double select it and this edge here and all across the top as well and you want to bevel these so bevel and the offset to be about Point four. Then you want to select this edge here and bevel this as well, and this offset to be about one point one here. So point one for that bevel. <coughs> and 
and you want to select these end vertexes here and you want to go to the move tool settings and you want to turn soft selection on and you want the <coughs> radius to be you want the radius to be about okay to be about twelve point eight Right, and then you want to scale it down just in uh, X I think it was no Z sorry you want to scale it down in the Z just like that and then you want to turn soft selection off And you want to insert an edge loop here, about halfway, and same on the other side as well. An edge loop here, and on the back, and then what you want to do is line these up using the split polygon tool, so there to there. There to there, and finally there to there. And then you want to double select this edge, then you want to scale it down in the C, Y, sorry. And then you want to rotate it in the Z, like that. And then if you go to the front of your model, you want to scale it out in the Z. about there and you can double select actually select one of the edges and then go to select and select containing edges then you can scale them out in the <coughs> Z2 and then move them down and you just want to give it a nice curve <coughs> so it's not all blocky Trying to make it smooth as possible, or look smooth as possible. And if you go to your side view, you can just scale these vertexes in just a bit. And now what you want to do <coughs> is grab this edge again, same way, select and select containing edges. And you just want to move it down a bit more as well. Delete these two edges here, this one and this one. And you want to go to split polygon tool. <coughs> or you can select them, select this edge first, actually. And then you want to scale this out. And now you could have split it across first before you scaled. It's up to you. Delete these two edges here, actually this edge here, and then you want to <coughs> do the same on the other side, this edge here, and then you want to go to split polygon tool, and you want to split it across here, and same across here, like that. OK, 
Okay. So now if you go to your front view, grab this vertex here and just pull it back. Just keep the edge nice and straight. <coughs> God damn it. And just scale it inwards a bit the whole model it in uh, Z <coughs> select this these end vertexes again and soft select turn it on and you just want to pull them out a bit And remember when you finish, turn soft select off. Okay. <coughs> right. And you want to insert an edge loop down here. So here, then you want to go to split polygon tool and insert split here to down here and you can do the front ones as well. Alright and now you need to insert a split down here from here to here. And then you can delete the right side of the model. Make sure it's all selected. And then to do this, what you want to do is you want to go to your front view and insert an edge loop in the middle here. Then you want to go to vertex mode and grab these three vertexes and merge them <coughs> split polygon tool and split here to here and the same for the other side as well and then you can delete these edges here by double clicking like that and then what you want to do is you want to delete the edge here like that and there we go And that's that, and you want to do that for the rest of a model. And you can delete the middle edge as well. Okay. So that's it. Um, thanks, <coughs> thanks for watching, and subscribe to see more videos. Alright, see you guys.